Hey everybody, I don't mean to brag, but check this out. This was on stream. You look at my replays, okay? There's a, don't look at some of them. But we had two 10 pieces in a row. Common elements, penguin, moose. One or two early game units that got scaled and lemons. So I'm not saying we, we cracked the code for 10 piece. Because it's honestly, you got to get a little bit lucky. You know, you, you got to have not only like the dream. Uh, sure. Let's, I mean, I'm not worried about crickets. Let's put you at the front. You got to. Oh, but there's there's pigs in the pack. Let me be a desperate astronaut. Like Medji really got to take a pee, but the space shuttle's taking off. Anyway. Um, would love to know your thoughts on this. The number one determinant, I think, at this stage of, of Super Auto Pets, of, of how well you're doing, is your skill. I'm willing to admit that, and I don't think it was always that way. Now, the number two, and it's a close second. Like, it might be like 65-35. I guess that's not a close second, now that I think about it. <laughs> that's a pretty sizable margin. So it's like a, the biggest landslide in presidential election history. That being said, okay, I think the secondary indicator is how good your shops are. How many rolls you take to get to the units you want, the synergies you see, and so on and so forth. How quickly can you get a camel, for example? I'm going to buff you. We're going we're gonna to rework the whole squad. It's now going to look like this, and we want to see a fish on reroll. No fish. No fish. We could pill an ant, place a stork up there instead. We've got one unit scaling, relatively tanky unit, which is a camel that's passing buffs back to our, uh, our iguana. Maybe not many buffs, but some buffs. That allows our iguana to hit above its weight class. Its, it's actual ability is not that important, I think, unless we get a donkey, maybe, but... I think the pill makes a lot of sense. The only thing you don't want it to hit is the otter. I would not mind scaling a stork if we get the opportunity. Honestly, for now, buy me and then get two full shop rerolls. That's beautiful. This is nice. And that's okay. That's completely fine. So we got what we were looking for. A level up on our um, fish definitely gives us the ability. Oh, no. They, they ran my psycho -o copy build. And it's working. It's working for them. Okay. More power to you. I told you it could work. I told you. We... Okay, probably sell... Buy, sell, buy, absolutely you add a penguin to the team. And at this point, because the fish is going to get some stats, I actually think you give the fish the croissant. Because the fish is guaranteed to get one of the two buffs. The fish and the iguana are both guaranteed to get the buffs from the penguin. So I think we might as well commit to the idea that the fish is going to keep moving. I think we've got a great team. NACL is your flavor. What a name. What a name. I'm still going to search for your buff. And we definitely would love a penguin buff. For now, why don't you take a garlic? I don't expect that to be, like, transformative. I don't expect it to, to do a ton for us. And sadly, none of that was particularly relevant. But if we could get two penguins or buff... Uh, Buff the penguin we've got to level two. These would these would be very positive things for us overall. Right now, I think this team has great scaling in a week where scaling typically shows up a little later. Tier four, it'd be, it'd be lovely to level up and get like a moose. Like you're almost losable in order to put a donkey on the team. If we get a kill, the iguana gets like a free shot. We roll the stork a lot. I'm actually, I'm, I think I'm willing to do it. I think we can run it like this. It's a 1-1 one, one buff. It's not a huge deal. Um, I'm also going to give the donkey some garlic. It's just... I, I might as well take advantage of getting something in the shop here. Let's, let's see how the donkey screws up teams. You know, we don't need to get a kill with the iguana for this to make sense. Even just moving like a, a unit like a dog that gets buffed when uh, units get spawned. Moving that unit in here actually maybe not having it at the back might have helped us out. It seems to be doing fine based on my sample size of one. You know what? In this situation, we I think we do buy salads. I think we do. Now, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I don't think it's going to be a particularly popular decision. With eight life left, I think we can sell our 5'9 camel. 
to get enough crows to level up our um, our penguin, just to guarantee that our scaling continues to stay like half decent. So we did lose this one. Is honestly just really bad bat luck. Their, their bat was insane. Their bat was cracked. Hey, look at this. We actually only need to sell one crow. Unless we want to create a level three. Which I don't think we do. But we do need to buy something. We might as well just put this other crow out here for now, I think. And you're giving two level two and level three friends two two buff. I think... It, it looks like an unimpressive team when you look at the animals, but the actual quality... Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> the actual quality of our... of our units is... of our stats is really good. I think you should peace. Great name. I'm still genuinely not sweating it. Here's what I will say. It's definitely time for you to have garlic or a lemon. And then give me a good tier six. It's just not right. It's just not the right thing for us. We, it works one time per battle. Okay, so we're like... I'll, okay, that's very nice. I'll tell you, we're getting a little too precious with it. But I do think uh, if we had garlic on our... We should have gotten the croissant off of our uh, tanky units. And we should have gotten the garlic on them a little bit faster. But we're... Still not pogging? No! <laughs> that squad, that, and uh, you, you can call this copium if you want. It's actually the opposite. Because it's, uh, rather than being like, oh, you know, we only lost because of this. I'm saying we lost because of my own idiocy. In reality, that run was a 10-piece waiting to happen. And I think the difference, be a milky hand. The difference between 10 and 5 was that we didn't put garlic on our, our iguana and our fish fast enough. I think it's a rookie mistake, honestly. That hurts, because I think we got the dream line as far as I'm concerned. That's a level. I'm not disappointed to, to have a chance to get a level. And honestly, why not at this point? Um, maybe we get a level 3 mouse. At some point, maybe we're just happy with our level 2 mouse and we're still saying that's pretty pog. Either way, I mean, I didn't expect to win this one with, with three mice, even if one of them is uh, a 3-2. You gotta try an elephant here. Start here. Tamarin. I mean, I guess, I guess you could sell your mice and you could start buffing the crap out of your tamarin. We still don't have, like, a good unit. <laughs> But we do have a tamarind, I guess, so there is that. Um, there is that. That's true. I'm thinking maybe, like, if you can get a level 2 elephant, and then, I mean, really the only thing, I guess a camel would work with it, or a blowfish. A camel or a blowfish could do something. Could do something. Could do something. Could do, wow, that's a strong team, okay? We got nothing working with it yet. Let's have you take a croissant. I would love your level. It doesn't have to happen this turn. And I actually think that a bat goes hard. And I don't care if you kill a bat. If you gotta, if you gotta kill a bat, you gotta kill a bat. Because it's not like... I mean, it's one damage. I'm not worried about that too much. I'd rather not hit our elephant that has 5 HP. Hold on. This is looking better. This is how I kind of expected this one to go. I expected it to be a little bit more pog. We didn't even kill our bat. Now we're going to get a level 2 elephant. We need something with a good hurt trigger. Wow. Um, we are going to do this. I think a donkey goes insane. <laughs> I, I do. I'm sorry. And we're going to sell you at some point. I just don't know who we're, who we're giving it to. I guess we want it like that. I still think a donkey, a donkey can go insane on this one. I don't exactly know what we're doing with it. But this seemed to have worked out pretty well for me. I just think it screws up order enough to help us out. I think I mentioned that about a hundred times, so I probably don't need to mention it again. We're going elephant. We should go tamarind. And then let's salad real quick. That's two good units to receive this. Maybe it's time that we actually move our best unit to the front. 
Um, and don't really worry too much about it killing a Marmoset, because it's a 3-4 anyway. Maybe it's time to regret that action. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? I think it's a draw. Level 2 Tamarin sold into like a hippo or something could go pretty hard. Nothing here is, is that tempting. We're, we're close to a buffalo. We're not there yet. But you are here. Now it's, it's an interesting world we're living in, isn't it? How, how low are you willing to go to try to get that Tamarin? That exactly that low. Sell me. We go to five. We go to two. Totally fine. We go to three. And then let's try a little hippo at the front. I still, I don't really want to kill a five, six marmoset, but I, I think that there's value in having our, our strongest unit at the front. Have I rolled past a bunch of blowfish, by the way? This sounds like something I could do. Just 618 camel! What the heck happened there? This is like the strongest team I ever could have imagined. Are we on lethal? Thankfully, no. Okay. You, obviously, you had to go like a long time ago. We definitely do want a hippo to hit level two. None of these units... I mean, a giraffe is just a little late. I wish it wasn't, but... Okay, now here's the... It's an interesting world, right? Because... I think we do have a blowfish, but I think it's a little late to make the blowfish do anything. I think it's a little late to make the camel do much, but it can at least feed some buffs back to our hippo who desperately needs garlic. But if they receive garlic, well, okay, the garlic wouldn't have done too much for you in this case. That's clear. But we still, we got some good stuff done. This should be strong enough. They built a spawning team. We are taking three damage from each of these, which is really annoying because of the weakness. I mean, they, they got value for money, <laughs> but still. All right, so I don't think we buff our camel. I think the camel's just there to be there. More stats are very valuable though. I'm rolling. There's a lot of stuff there you could look at and take, but I'm rolling. I'm willing to get spicy with you. I'm, I'm, bas I'm making a bet. I'm making a bet that the stats matter. I'm making a bet that our bat and our elephant are going to stick around. Now, the, the elephant, I really expect it to like one for one. And I would consider that fine because the one for one still allows us to not hurt our hippo too much. Then our hippo comes out and this is what it was meant to do in the first place, okay? But it's, it's a gamble that we're making, and this it worked out this time. It may not work out next time. We may not always go up against Boob Liker 69, okay? I'm rolling. I'm still rolling. I am buffing you. I am buffing your head. I'm rolling. This was a horrendous turn for us. I'm rolling still. There was nothing I, I really loved in the shop there. I thought about the chili pepper. It's a, a horrendous round. However, we could still win. And we do have a level 2 hippo for next time, which means there's a chance. I would say I got a little greedy on that one. Okay, the double snipe was not good for business. Nor was the, the snipe that followed that <laughs> on, my, on my own hippo. But it's, it's got to be done. Like, we need... I, oh, I guess we could run hippo at the very front. But then it goes up against their strongest unit most of the time. I, I would rather have the hippo be one back. I know it's nonsense. It is. It's nonsense. It's quicksilver. We don't want a level three elephant. If anything, if there's anything we're going to do here. No, you can't pivot to a, a, a one, two kangaroo. Here's what you can do. You can move elephant to the back. You can sell your penguin and you could run... A uh, scorpion at the front, which is doing the same thing we wanted an elephant to do. Kill the strongest unit on the enemy team. Mission failed. Mission succeeded. Mission succeeded. Mission highly succeeded. And put some respect on the donkey. I think the donkey was the reason that one uh, actually ended up working. 
I'm not willing to sell anything to get this crow out here. Which means we need to naturally complete our shop, which is scary. Start a battle. Make the nearest friend behind level three. But you're going to... Oh, but there's two of you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to the donkey. The donkey's doing great stuff, but the elephant stats are important to me, okay? Now, the, it's not going to work yet. We would like the hippo to be level three then. It's not going to work yet. This is where... Okay, hold on. Hold on. We can now sell you... and run level three walrus, which gives us death touch. Now, the, death touch is the best ability in the game. But there is a world where lemon is better. If it, I mean, you could just think of the results. It could keep you alive longer. But I think that this is still pretty good. But it might be a little drawish. But it's, well, you know what? The other thing I would say now, with death touch, I don't as much mind selling like a, a, a unit like an elephant because it, it's going to have the same attack power basically as anything else we put out there but if we could scale that unit way past it HP wise then sure okay so I think an ostrich it'll take a couple of turns to get to the level I needed to get to but if it gets there oh baby <laughs> we don't really I'm sorry to say as you know what? We're on win six. We should you do this, but the hippo, I'm not really worried. Okay, well, I'll do it, but I was going to say I'm not really worried about the hippo getting to level three. It's going to take a few turns for the, for the ostrich to catch up to the elephant, but I think it's realistically like our only way of getting to six. Or sorry, to ten. Hopefully not fortuitous timing. This seems like a draw to me. Yeah, it seems like a draw. Because we got a, a we got a scale against the teams we're going to be going up against later, right? Not that interested. Not that interested. I think there is something to be said about some stats, and then like a one up. The thing is, that you don't really need to come back with a one up, but you know what? It might irritate people, and there's some value in that. I'm gonna get rid of like the whole shop, even though it's great for our ostrich. Just because I want to have the chance for another white tiger to pop up. And I think we can rebuild the shop. If, if we give up a couple of stat points for it, I'm not crying. You're crying. So we lose. <laughs> I just, I could do the math. I was like, they have more units left than we do. Fair enough. So that, we only got the six on that one. But I think we worked harder for the six that time than we did for the five before. Sure. One of those. This is good enough. I think it's the only realistic way we could win a round. Are we experiencing an earthquake in Vancouver right now? I'm not messing with you. My desk is vibrating. It just stopped. It might be a we might have just had a mild earthquake. By which I mean to say, I almost died. Did we earthquake him? Uh, the trees are just, they're swaying in the wind. There's nothing, those trees are not swaying any more dramatically than usual. I don't think we had an earthquake. I think there's a big truck outside. Or my computer's about to explode. Oh, you know what? I'm like, is it the dryer in the other room that's vibrating the wall and my desk is touching the wall? I don't know, man. It's, I'm... I'm not that guy. Well, this looks familiar. I'm willing to do the same thing. It is kind of freaking me out, though. I bet it's the dryer. I know, like, you're like, I skipped the part where that's my problem, but, like, I don't know. I'm just trying to diagnose it. It's just strange to me. This is a loss, by the way. It's just strange to me. I mean, my room is vibrating. Not a lot, <laughs> to be clear, but enough to be like, oh, that's a little weird. Same thing, I guess. We're doing the same thing. Big Tamarin, it was really slow. 
but it was also kind of pog when it worked. Maybe we could go even harder on the tamarind. Maybe that was our problem, was not going hard enough. Also, I guess you don't need to sell your mouse right away. Sell me? Sell me. Buy me? What is this? <laughs> what is this? This seems good enough to draw. With, with a winning line in the future, maybe. And that's a big maybe, but like... You know, this whole game is made up of maybes. Oh my god, it's a loss by one? It's painful. You get pilled. No, we have to combine you for I know we lose the apple in the process, but I, did, I couldn't risk the stats going to you. A bat is, has served its, its pog purpose for us many times. I don't want to take another ant unless I have to. Okay, you know what we do in this business? We, we take you and we get two cells, aka two rerolls next time. But this is not, it's not looking great. Seven, six is a strong unit, but it's exactly strong enough to just get killed by meat anyway. I want to do more Okapi builds if, if we get an Okapi showing up early. I would love to give it a chance. But, you know, the Tamarin is what we got early, so the Tamarin is what we take early. I think we have to do, like, I think we have to put you here. We, I don't know what we're doing with you. You're giving one, two to the Tamarin, which is not very good. Maybe the time has come to sell our mouse, even though we did just give it one needless extra mouse inside of it. You know we're running a giraffe. The question is, are we running two giraffes? I'm gonna go ahead and say yes. Giraffe. It's tough because I really want to give you garlic, but at the same time... <laughs> There's not really that much point. I, like, I don't want to give you garlic if instead I could sell you and thus the croissant provides greater utility over time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Hold on. We, we might pog ourselves out with this one. Consider yourself pogged out. Okay, so we didn't need the snail, but the bats alone I'm happy with. A buffalo, I'm insulted. Okay, we're going we're going to level three. Oh no, it's the bat, as they say. I don't know. We're almost reaching a point where you could give the bat garlic, and then when you sell the tamarind, use the bat as your tank in order to give the kangaroo a chance to pog up. Might not be the highest chance in the world, but oh man, the, the math has been on our side here in the last two rounds. So this is big. Roll me. It's too late for the Okapi. I know I said I wanted one. I think it's a little too late for it. I'm going to give you garlic. And then get the... Okay, so this is... I'm not going hippo. But next round, we can combine giraffes, buy one, sell one, level two giraffe. See what you get. We'll freeze this because we're going to have empty space. I got a blank space baby. Uh, let's move you back a little bit. I know it's a little weird now. Suppose it, it, here's the thing, you might be like, well, you should have been buffing the Tamarin all the time, but basically every round we buff the Tamarin, we're giving half the stats to the unit we eventually choose to replace it. Okay, this is a joke. <laughs> we're about to get destroyed. Or are we? Holy cow. Now it makes sense because we want to keep the chain of command going here. Hold on, this is a great time for a penguin, honestly. Combine me. Buy me. Sell me. We're gonna. We're about to get a tier five. A moose would hit the spot. Hyena. I would honestly say. I still like what we got going on here. I would say buy me, sell me, and buy me and freeze me. I know this looks a little crazy. Like, why are you not buffing the tamarind with the giraffe? Well, I, until we get the tamarind to level two. I don't want to give stats to something that we're going to give away. It's the same... Oh, but we don't have weakness on the right unit this time. Uh oh, this, this is... This is bad. This is this is brutality. We still came pretty close, honestly. But then why not use the crow to level up the tamarind? Because again, I can't shake the feeling that I'm basically just getting... The tamarind just to... Like, I hold on. The adults are talking. Sell me. 
Big Moose. Now we have some considerable buffing taking place. We want... We don't want tier 3s in our shop, but I guess it's okay. Let's freeze the tier 4 and roll me. All tier 4s. I'm not unfreezing the 3s because we want to have them here. I think we would we'd be fine buying a giraffe. It just helps out our buffing. And then the penguin definitely needs to hit level 2. But we can unfreeze you. This seems like really, really incredible scaling. So let's not make the mistake we've made many times in the past. The best thing you could get right now would probably be lemons. If you got lemons, you would probably say, Pog, those are nice lemons. We're going to win this one. This, this one has a real simple path to 10. It's not to say it's guaranteed. Sure, freeze me. Freeze me. No, freeze me. No, freeze me. Roll me. That's, this is fine. We're going to buy and buy. We're going to keep you frozen. We were looking for lemons, but maybe lemons don't even show up till the next tier. I can't remember. Simple does not mean easy, by the way, because one loss means we're dead. However, we appear to be living. Just barely, but I'll take it. We just... Dream shops, man. Dream shops. I'm keeping you frozen, by the way, just because in the uh, when we get to three, I could buy you and then pull you out of the shop. Okay, this seems fine. You need one of these. I would still say, roll me. At this stage, I would say, honestly, I'm going to give you a lemon. And I'm going to keep the penguin in the shop for another turn. I think it's the right play. I would unfreeze my fives to add some sixes to the team. That getting a level two moose just out of one shop was like it was a dream come true. Now that again, we could face some truly horrifying teams, and this is one of them. <laughs> this is like a really insanely strong team. Yeah, we lost. Okay. Still, I mean we we really we gave it our all there. The teams that beat us in the late game were just really strong. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.